Speaking of frozen, a cool down expected for our weekend. Chris Spears here now. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully you got out and enjoyed today, Dominic, the last full Friday of summer 2017. This time next week, we will be welcoming fall. We hit 84 today, both downtown and at the airport started in the low 50s, just a little above normal, nowhere near those records. Adrian, he's our junior weather watcher in Littleton, checking in with 81 degrees. It's a little cooler down in Bayfield, Joseph in southwest Colorado, 69 degrees. Still in the 70s and low 80s on the eastern plains, La Junta at 90 50s and 60s in the high country, but you see this big blue line. That's a cold front starting to nudge into the state. Two ways we can track cold fronts. One, we look at the temperatures behind it. Check this out. 30s and 40s across Montana and Wyoming. That is the air headed to Colorado. But another way we can identify fronts. Look at the line of thunderstorms developing right along this as it nudges into the state. Northwestern Colorado outside of Grand Junction. It's a pretty loud evening over that way on up towards Steamboat Springs. These storms are not severe, but they do contain cloud to ground lightning and brief moderate rain. Starting to see some storms develop on the Wyoming Colorado border and in around Laramie and Cheyenne and out into Nebraska. Fort Collins, if you're looking north, you can see those storms there off in the distance. Well, here we go on the future cast. Those storms are going to continue off and on through the evening. Look at the pinks and purples. A little snow tonight above 10,000 feet. Not expecting travel problems, but tis the season. As we go into the overnight and wake up tomorrow, I think it's going to be kind of one of those cloudy Saturday mornings, a little bit chilly out there as well. And then as we go through the day Saturday, a few showers will pop here and there. Rain is not the headline with this weather maker. It's the big cool down. So get ready. I'll show you the future cast temperatures here in just a second. For fall color, if you want to head out, Rocky Mountain National Park sporting some colors up there. Thanks to Carmel Schiff for sending in these pictures. We have a fall color guide on CBSDenver.com. Let you know the dates of near peak across the state. Send us your pictures, too. We'd love to see your journeys at cbsdenver.com slash fall colors. For tonight, check this out. 40s along and east of I-25. Southeast Colorado in the 50s, mostly 30s for the higher country. 40s on the western slope. So a noticeable difference once that front comes through. Again, it will kick up some showers and it will turn very windy. That'll be your key that the front is rolling through your neighborhood. For tomorrow, 60s and low 70s along the front range. 70s on the eastern plains. 80s in the southeast. 60s for the high country if you're heading to look at the fall color in some 70s on the western slope. Here's Denver's five day forecast. So a chilly cloudy start tomorrow. A couple of showers tonight or in the morning and maybe again tomorrow afternoon. All part of this front coming through. But the temperatures, the big story. Karen and Dominic look at Sunday 76 for that Broncos game. So some pretty good football weather there. A little warm up Monday and Tuesday. Next storm comes Wednesday. So here's what's happening. We're getting into our fall weather pattern It's starting to become a little active. I I can't believe you said snow. I know. <laughs> above 10,000 feet, though. <laughs> yeah, still, Let's be clear. It's yeah, weird Dominic. to hear. Right, right. right. So, thanks. thanks, Chris. Sure. Well, Broncos